Get out of my supervisor! Oh my god, now I know why you macrame instead of knit. And I'm back. Welcome. Hey, said to clean some stuff and such. It got a little sticky. It oh. got uh, it shot everywhere. Sticky, buddy. It uh, kind of shot everywhere. Boy, I, 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 I said, I said, boy, boy, I, I said, I said, I said, I, I, boy, <laughs> boy, I said. Most racist character. <laughs> Are you pulling your belt up over there? Thank Whoa. you, Falcon. Mm. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 176 of the most illustrious podcast filmed in a in a basement where there are no longer rugs that can be spilled upon. Yay! It's thank goodness Camcast. for that. Woo! Yes, Just indeed. In time. Safety first. Yes, or whatever. I am Mike, dear leader, doc taste leader of men, herder of cats, so on and so forth, wearer of the comfy pants, mm. which did not get beer spilled upon them. Good luck. Thanks. I don't know what that, that really didn't apply. I'm sorry. Really, <laughs> lucky you. There you you too. You too. Take luck. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and I am joined, as always, to my right by the one, the only, the eater of the Swedish fish, your mine, our Uncle Radical, professor of the ghetto arts, tenured but not licensed. <laughs> we call him Scoots. It's Dave Raleigh. My name's Scoots. <laughs> Perfect. I oh. did it. I did it. There you go. Get, it, it's, he, what was it that you did? Sh- it's, the, it's the small doses. I become immune to it. You, you, you didn't talk? He's becoming immune to it. He is the Lord of the Boards, Zach Lords. I'm so glad that barely came through. Yeah, I know, you got to right? really... That was awful. Lean in on that well, one. Well, I mean, yeah. God bless you for trying. I, I like where so your head, I liked where your head's at. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. And hide your husbands, too, because they be raping, raping everybody. <laughs> they be right raping now. everybody. Oh, my. Anyway. Wow. Eating some food. He's over there on the other side of the table. Just knocking everything off of the table. He's having a strong outing tonight thus hey, far. Geriatrics for the win. Turning into a cat. Meow. So, except cats do that intentionally. This I is... have fallen and I cannot get up. Gladys, my hip. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. He needs a new hip. Yeah. He had a phone the size of an iPad. I can't see anything. Jitterbug. <laughs> he is uh, our pizza stranger or a strange stepdad. Correct. Brandon Christiansen. Hey, guys. How we doing? I oh. believe the correct introduction was ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. Fred, as soon as you come back, we'll make them stop. Mine will, uh, I'll just say, a chips ahoy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's not funny. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's been a great day. I thought you were funny. Thank you. Uh, I'm Walter Cronkite. You thought the way until I spilled everything. Crumble. God damn it. Thank goodness there's no rugs in there. <laughs> yeah, thank God I decided I just got a wild hair the but other day. But you know what? It looks like yeah, the Mother Mary. Look at that. <laughs> you have a Christian symbol on your floor. Thanks, Timmy. You're welcome. Can, can we sell it and make money off it? You absolutely can. There'll be can. pilgrimages to Mike, Michael's house. It looks like Rick. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> there is no God. Your job's a joke. It's a, it's a <laughs> yeah, Morty. There we go. Anyway. Uh, we are at Cam Automag on all the social medias, so just go ahead and social.media slash Netscape at Cam Automag, and there we are. Like wait, us. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Morty. Morty. Uh, Morty. Uh, Morty. Nice. <laughs> we're, was, we're, we're the podcast, Morty. That was beautiful. Yeah, Achi, Rick. Oh, God damn it. Uh, Achi, uh, Rick. I don't know so much about that. Uh, I don't know where we're supposed to be here right now. Oh, gosh, Rick. God, you guys sound like me seeks. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Jag. Hey, are you making a chloroform rag over there? <laughs> hey, Dad, doing a nice polish. What's that smell like? Yeah, don't. Yeah. Anyway, this it's podcast is Ether Bunny. <laughs> Find this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play. If you haven't figured it out now, pretty much all of these are not safe for work. So, um, listen, don't fuck up the bag. Listen to this with headphones. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, if Did you, you really just take the last donut and put that bag back on the table? You might as well have just spilled a drink right off the table, you sell them. Anyways, you are a goddamn kidding. monster. Do you know that? <laughs> God, he becomes legal and just Jeez. look what he turns into. It's almost like you guys work together or something. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, if you like what we're doing, not that. What, this? No. Oh, that. <laughs> Rolling up the bag yeah. into the microphone. Into the microphone. Come on. This isn't the Let's Go Something show. Okay. We just lost all of our Patreon. 
God. We, we definitely lost Chirp. Be awesome, like Hans and John and Devin and everybody else who is a patron. Our great Canadian listener, Hans. Yep. We sure love you. By heading I apologize. over to patreon.com slash camautomag. Yep. Pledge as little as a dollar a month or as much as 15 grand, but I recommend pledging at least five bucks a month. That way you can get yourself into the Cam Shanigan's uh, Super Secret Facebook group. Awesome. Which has a new cover photo. Oh, it's beautiful, too. Have you paid for WinRAR yet? On a Ferrari 360 Challenge. Indeed. Perhaps this is a bad time for me to tell you all that I've been using 7-Zip for the last decade. Rip. Rip, rip. Um, I use the Archiver. Why don't you just fucking fancy? I know. Anyway, five bucks a month gets you into the... Facebook group where you're going to have a lot of that going on. Oh, Not yeah. Lie. Uh, you also get access to uh, this particular podcast, the Thursday episodes, early. hey Yep. Uh, could be at least at least a day early, maybe two days early. Uh-oh. All depends on how my workflow, my workload is going. Yep. So, Can I also shout out everyone who's listening to this in the future? There you go. Shout out to you guys in a year and a half. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That Awkward was, silence. Wow. That was a much larger time jump than I was expecting. Wow, wow. yeah. I, I've come back listed episodes of podcasts. Like, oh, not, no, I'm, I'm not doubting yeet, that. Yeet, I'm just saying. I was not expecting yeet, a year and a half shout out. That was... Wow. But you know. that guy, you know, is going to... I just made his day. Yep, shout out to you, dude, 18 months down the line. Who went into the archive and listened to this episode? This guy is realistically going to just be like, who the fuck is this Zach guy and why should I give it to September him? 2020 is your year, man. It's it. This current month. You can do it. Or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you also get access to uh, some Patreon-only bonus content, i.e. us watching Russian dash cam videos and reacting to the horrificness so you don't have to. Yep. It's all available at patreon.com slash camautomag. Do uh, that. Yep. Uh, Join us. There we go. Uh, shout out to the idiot kids working at Jiffy Lube, putting shit back on with uh, air tools. Making Lovely. Making it possible for me to get shit off of a car. Like spark plugs? Fantastic. God in heaven. Uh, it would not surprise me. Tried to show my brother the joys and fun of working on your own car, and then he quickly <laughs> learned. It's not fun. So... All of the dumb losses you take yeah. when trying to do something on your own. All the expletive-filled funness. Oh, God. Working yep. on your own car. Yep. I only swore a couple times this weekend on working on my roommate's car. Well, there you go. That's hey. a good for you. Yeah. yeah. Way, to, way to rise above. Yeah. yeah. But awesome. nothing's worse when you get a paper towel stuck inside of a spark plug hole that you can't get out. <laughs> Oof. You just light it on fire at that point. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Yeah. Anyway. Also, uh... Yeah, finally fixed the leak in the back of the mini minivan. Oh, really? Yes. No more mold. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not. My God in heaven. If this fails, then God damn. But no, one of the bolt holes for the third brake light just got rounded out a little bit. Uh, yeah. So JB Weld? Got some uh, oh, some silicone. Just oh. applied it thick and rich like frosting on a cake. Mm, delicious. Yep. So it tastes just like it looks. Delicious. Yep. Actually, don't eat that. No, don't. Sponsored by the Camcaster of 2019. Yeah, don't eat silicone. Anyway. Yeah, okay, yeah, bad. Dave, I believe you have something you would like to read to us. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, you're all fans of Dr. Seuss, are you not? Correct. Yep. Are we uh, alive you're, and you're, breathing? You're all fa- you're all fans of uh, criminal activity, right? Oh, Again, are we, yeah, are we yeah, alive and breathing? Upon, <laughs> depending upon the activity, sure. Allow me to read to you in my radio announcer daddy voice. Ooh. My ear holes are prepared. Yep. <clears throat> The O.J. Simpson trial, Ooh. The, as told by Dr. Seuss. Wow. The curious case of the juice. Get rid of all James Simpson. <laughs> the curious. This is Benjamin Button's disease? I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Well, all right. <clears throat> and away you go. I did not kill my lovely wife. I did not slash her with a knife. I did not bonk her on the head. I did not know that she was dead. Ooh. I stayed at home that fateful night. I took a cab, then took a flight. The bag I had was just for me. My bag, my bag. Hey, leave it be. (laughs) When I came home, I had a gash. My hand was cut from broken glass. I cut my hand on broken glass. A broken glass did cause that gash. My friend, he took me for a ride all through L.A. from side to side. From north to south, we took a ride, but from the cops, we could not hide. My trial lasted for a year. 
a year, a year just sitting here. The DNA, the hem, the ha, the circus hype the viewers saw. A year, a year just sitting here, and lawyers charge by the hour, I fear. If I'm found guilty, I will appeal. Appeal, appeal. I will appeal. I'll wheedle and whine. I'll cut a deal. If it's not guilty, so glad I'll feel. Did you Did you do this awful crime? Did you do this any time? I did not do this awful crime. I could not, would not, any time. <laughs> did you take this person's life? Did you do it with a knife? I did not do it with a knife. I did not, could not, kill my wife. I did not do this awful crime. I could not, would not, any time. Did you hit her from above? Did you drop this bloody glove? I did not hit her from above. I cannot even wear that glove. I did not do it with a knife. I did not, could not, kill my wife. I did not do this awful crime. I could not, would not, any time. And now I'm free. I can return to my house for which I yearn. And to my family whom I love. Hey, now I'm free. Give back my glove. <laughs> oh. Goddamn truth is this supposed to wow. be relevant to me what, 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 what? uh so 89 95 no. 95. Yeah, 95 oh Who, who's this is oj orenthal james simpson he yes was a famous running back in hall, the, uh, hall of fame run running back national football league yep i, I know and, there's uh, something about a glove so true though i i I kind of aware of the situation but i remember when he was released or whatever mm-hmm. it was i typed in who <laughs> And the first one on Google was, who is O.J. Simpson? Nice. And I'm like, wow, that definitely depicts our generation very well. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, we watched it live. I remember watching all that live. I, I lived in, in the California Bronco. when when that happened. Really? Mm-hmm. Running down the 5 right. or 405? I can't remember which one it was. I remember seeing it on TV live while it was happening, just the same as the L.A. Riots. Yeah. I remember mm-hmm. watching those live. That oh, was, um, I lived there. Crazy. What's his name? The L.A. Riots guy. Um. Um, uh, King, no, no. Rodney King, Rodney, Rodney King, King, yeah, yeah, it was King. a King, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the, the Sublime had their song about it, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. April twenty sixth, nineteen ninety two. There was a riot right on the streets. Where Tell me where were you? you? I was out God. there. It, it, only, okay. it only took one brick to make that window drop. Yep. See, I know love my that. There you go. All right. She was getting some peppers. <laughs> That's a good song. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Hey, so, uh. So our buddy AJ, before, AJ. We get, before we get too far down a sublime rabbit hole that I do not want us to go down. Or oh, reminisce on some of the darkest days of American history. Whatever, yeah. Listen, I could get my brother down here. He's a history teacher, and he is teaching the children all of the ugliness that is America. Awesome. Yep. Anyway, uh, we need to give a special shout out to somebody named Bo. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. Hi, Bo. How you doing, buddy? What's up, yeah. Bo? You uh, sound awesome, Bo. Yep. Hope, hope you're great. AJ uh, went to your house to do some work. Yeah. What does AJ do? I don't know. Isn't he an electrician? Of I some hope sort? he's a cable guy. Prop. Something that would. I mean, something that would make this story less weird. Oh, he's a jack of all trades, right there at the bottom. So there we go. There oh, it is. The, the plot of Cable Man with AJ in it just ran through my head. God damn. Jeez. So there you go, AJ. Cable guy. But why? Why is Bo noteworthy? Because Bo oh. asked him if it was okay if he put on F one. Yes, I like you, Bo. Yep. So uh, they started talking, and uh, now Bo, you're getting your shout out. Yeah, so, buddy. There you go. Hopefully you stuck around for the Tuesday episode. Second show. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Dylan Brown for showing us this Chevette mm. available for us for the little low price of $1,000 in oh. Del Mar, Delaware. Yep. Thanks, Dylan. The description is great. It's yeah. a roof rack. Chevette. <laughs> Chevette. I didn't notice the All lightning caps. bolt on the hood there. Sorry. It's a four-cylinder. Original engine. We'll need a new $50 carburetor. The $40 carburetor will not suffice. No. If it was only $40, this have. thing would not be for sale. You need the $50. Two front seats only. Previous owner gutted it for racing. Clean title and tagged. That still has hood pins. Well, yeah. I mean, it has hood pins racing. And, and like 15-inch steelies on the back. And a roll-on paint job. Yep. Yeah. So Literally. there we go. Good. Googly moogly. Beautiful. Yep. Yep, someone so, needs to buy that. If so it wasn't so go. far away. Right. Damn. So there we go. Uh, thank you for that, Dylan. Um, yeah, your Track Daily Crushes list. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, Dylan. The only one that I am like familiar with is the Torque Stallion. I'm kind of aware of LZ's Cream 240. 
Like I've I know, seen it. I know it's a thing. I've heard him talk about it. <laughs> Beyond that, it exists. I've never seen it, and I don't know who Taylor Ray is or anything about his LS Miata. Here's the thing: his... I'm going to daily the LS Miata. I'm going to track the Torque Stallion, and I'm going to crush the fuck out of Adam LZ's car. Sure. There we go. That yeah, works. Yeah. I, I th- kind of think I might be totally wrong. I might get yelled at for this because the internet always does that. I think Taylor Ray's Miata is the um, – it was painted um, Arizona can colors. Okay. And terracotta by chance? Like the yellow and the No, no, no. Green. Arizona. Like, like the, like the, the tea. tea. The <clears> tea, <throat> yeah. Yeah. Like, like a big can of Ari- – Oh, like, you're talking about the can of tea. Yeah. Got it. I think. But I might be entirely wrong. I'm just – listen. I, we are looking at this on a computer, and I'm not going to – sorry, Dylan. Yeah. I mean, thanks for writing in. And sharing that Chevette with us. Yes. Anyway, now we get this question uh, from Sam Babbler from, yeah, a week ago. Uh, I've been talking to Sam on the Instagram. He wants to get into drifting. You know, he went to... Which I fully support. Yeah, he went to Global Time Attack. He took a bunch of photos, you know, and he really, really, really wants to get into drifting. So he sends us a letter that I said we would uh, get into. I put it off for a week, but now we're getting to it, buddy. So... He writes, I'm looking to buy an S10, a 4.3 with a manual, chopping off most of the body panels, having a friend help me weld a cage, rear mount radiator, and possibly a truck-style toolbox in the back to use as a trunk, which should help me with weight distribution and doing this for the rear suspension. He gives us a link, Project S10, to whatever. Uh, I'm trying to get a low-buck drift cart slash a bit of a street toy for nice days if I can keep it street legal. I can do a steering box upgrade with some something from a Camaro, and I'm looking into what can get into getting extra angle. My original plan was to use a V6 Mustang or something along those lines, but if I want to street street it, Mustang insurance is expensive, S10 insurance is not, so I really just want to know y'all's opinion on this. Also, I can't seem to find any info on what you want out of rear suspension for a drift build, so do y'all think that suspension setup would work well? And then just general opinion on this build entirely. Boy, <clears throat> I like that the three automatically generated responses from Gmail are sounds like a good idea. I like it and thoughts. Question mark. Yes. Thoughts? I know some of those. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. I, uh, let's turn to uh, the professor of the ghetto arts. Hold up. Before we do oh. this, uh, yes. if you have anything you want to send us, i.e. what Sam and Dylan and AJ have sent us, mailbag at camautomag.com. Mm. Okay, Dave. <laughs> Thoughts. Prepare. And, prepare yourself. And just remember, Sam, we love you. Ooh. Sam, we love you, this, but good coming, luck. This is coming from a place of love. Yeah. Sam, I love oddball ideas. I really do. Something like this actually interests me. It's an absolutely horrendous fucking awful idea. <laughs> <laughs> wow, tell us how you really feel, Dave. I mean, Fucking wow. mic drop Jeez. right there. Uh, don't sugarcoat it, yeah, Dave. Yeah, jeez, let him down <sighs> easy. Whoa. Anywho, here's the thing. It will never be street legal. I don't care if you live in Alabama. You are going to get pulled over all the time for driving a frame with a firewall attached to it. Yeah. It's going over. to be about as aerodynamic as the toolbox you want to bolt to the back of the vehicle. <laughs> uh that that coilover link, I actually know what you're talking about. I didn't even have to click it to already know what option that is. That's an okay option. <clears throat> Excuse me, hiccups. Gets emotional. <clears throat> we just want what's best for you, Sam. Yep. <sighs> I, I, just, I just want to see my young Sam. <laughs> I just want to see him succeed. And, oh, my God. And get sideways. And, anywho. Yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. Do you want to build something, or do you want to drift? Because the biggest mistake that 99% of people who want to get into, quote, get into, end quote, drifting, uh, build something first and then never actually drive. Mm. Or never finish that build. Or never finish that build. Yeah. you got to ask yourself, are you a driver or are you a builder? Uh, y- your head's in the right place for trying to figure out the suspension and stuff. Um, I, I mean, I could nitpick that, and, and I kind of still will. But a- anywho, uh, the Camaro box is only maybe a half turn faster, lock to lock, 
than the box and the S10. They may as well be the same thing. Uh, they're both, you know, a, a garbage setup. The the S10 actually is a steering box version of a G body uh, car. So anything to the front end of a G body, you can do to an S10, including racks, including all that other crazy kind of stuff. Um, that stuff fits. That stuff works. You can put all kinds of different spindles on them with, you know, tie rod relocations, bump steer kits, big brakes, bearings, bolt pattern adapters, all all, the, all that kind of stuff. That's all standard G-body fare. You can put all that stuff on an S10. That's great. In the back, yeah, you can get rid of the leaf springs with, like, a four-link coilover setup like what you were, what you were showing us. I'm a fan of torque arm suspensions. Uh... Seriously, just Google torque arm suspension, and it will give you years of research to do. Isn't that what older Datsuns have? No. This is what third and fourth generation Camaros have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it's yeah. amazing for packaging, and you can also use the lower, or the, excuse me, the, the forward-facing links, the what would be considered the lower links in a, in a three-link. You can use... Uh, the original leaf spring front hangers. Ooh. So it's really easy to fabricate. It, you don't have to cut the bed out. You can move coilovers or springs and shocks wherever the hell you want. It really works out. It really works out great. As for your question about what you want from a rear suspension for a drift build, traction, believe it or not. Yeah, it is a you, grip game. Yeah, you want as much grip as you possibly can get and then build power to suit on top of that. Uh, all, all drifting is, is driving at the limit of traction and then going just a little bit further beyond that. So, I mean, that that's really what you want. You want as much grip as possible in the rear. Um, you want as much anti-squat as you can get without affecting brake balance or brake hop or, you know, weight balance, that kind of thing. Um, here's the thing. You are not going to get an S10 to drift without centering the weight, which is going to involve moving a lot of shit all over the place or adding a lot of ballast. And you're not going to get it to slide predictably unless you do a metric shit ton of work to the suspension and the steering. Can it be done? Absolutely. People do it. Should you do it? Definitely not. Costs way too much money. My suggestion, if you would like to actually drive... Go to drift events and see what people are driving. See what the most common vehicles are out there. And I think you'll find people with money are still drifting S chassis. S13s, S14s, you know, the 240SXs. People that spend good money on the car up front just to go drive, they have 350Zs. They have G35s. They have E36s. They have E46s. That's the kind of stuff you need to be looking for. And you'd be looking at the stuff where people spend a little bit of money up front to get something good, rock solid, reliable, has good aftermarket support, and everybody else has got the same car. Are you going to be unique and original? Absolutely fucking not. Is drifting about being unique and original? Absolutely fucking not. If you want to go drive, that's what you need to do. You need to be completely boring and unoriginal, but you need to go get get your skills on point. You need to go loop these things in parking lots, and you need to go spin out into the kitty litter on tracks. You need to go find that limit, and then you need to go have a good time. And I think, not saying from personal or experience or anything, but I think you'll have way more fun just going and doing it rather than being going and doing it with something unique. Like, the yeah. amount of difference you're going to have between that is going to be minimal. You're just going to be happy doing anything in general. That's the thing, is drifting is about driving, and about having a good time while driving. You could build anything. You could build anything for anything. And if all you're doing is building it for the sake of building it, okay, you're going to have a good time doing that. Drifting is about driving. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Yeah, man. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I love you, Sam. I want to see you get into drifting. I want to see you succeed. You know, hit us up. You know, you can direct it even to me if you want. You can find me on Facey Space. I even think we're friends on Facebook. Um, I'd love to help you out. You are in a great position to learn the right way 
or a horrible position to learn the wrong way. And I want to make sure that you learn the right way. And to anybody in general, ask questions. From my experience, and I ask a lot of dumb questions, people are always willing to answer. Even if your question is like the dumbest thing in the fucking world, someone's going to tell you you're wrong and you're going to learn from it. Mm -hmm. It's true. I do it all the time. Every drift event locally. I like to watch as many people as possible. I mean, a lot of you, a lot of the local guys know, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that runs the start grid. I'm the guy that, that starts the show and I'm always watching people's driving. I'm trying as best as I can to watch and see what people do so that I can give them tips, give them, you know, feedback, that kind of thing, because I just want everybody to go out and have a good time. That's why I don't go out and drive most of the time is because I'd rather see everybody else having a good time. So there you go. There we go. Dave's a slut for a good time. It's true. Do all kinds of weird things for a good time. Wow. Oh, boy. Well, there we go. Well, Sam, I hope we helped you out. Truth. Yeah, man. Like, it's, uh, you throw out that Mustang idea. I mean, it's. Oh, well, Mustangs aren't a terrible idea. V6 one, probably not the best way to go. No. I mean. But they're not a terrible idea. There's a reason why we have five mustangs that were drifting last season here just in utah four of them were new edge mustangs as a matter of fact mm. that tandem was awesome no yeah. no there, there was no it was it was it was a five five mustang train it's four new edges and a fox body but there was also two fox bodies at the event so there was six mustangs at the event no there, no you're right no. there was only one lone fox body i'm confused <laughs> because it, it's what's his bucket with the whale tail yep there we are. Any hooters. Anyway, Sam, appreciate you reaching out. Yes. And now... Mooch is crashes. So, with that in your head, let we uh, let us also put uh, Understeer to Victory into your head. Ooh. Yeah, at yeah. camautoswag.com. Mm. That's the new t-shirt. I would say it's the t-shirt of the month, but let's be real, it's probably going to be up there for at least six weeks. Yeah, so it's going to be the, uh, the second half of March... All of April shirt. Yep. You know. Yeah, exactly. Limited time. Get them while they're hot. Yeah. Yep. Understeer to victory. It's a great one. It's basically a picture of a Porsche going into the kitty litter. Yep. I mean, he, he won at something. Everybody has seen it happen. Yeah. Yep. It's true. It's, it happens to the best of us. But so. uh, you two can understeer to victory by heading over to camoswag.com. Mm -hmm. Supporting yep. us that way. While you're over there, you pick up a beanie or a sweatshirt or a cam uh, t-shirt. Bag. You can get a bag. Yeah. You can get a phone Mount, case. You can get a Mount Camor still, can't we? Yep. Mount Camor still there. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, there I hope that always stays there. Yeah. Get the faces. Yeah. yeah. Wear yeah. the faces with pride. My Damn face right. hasn't been on a shirt yet. Don't worry. I'm working on something for you. Oh, buddy. oh there it goes. Yep. There it is. Watch yeah. out now. Yep. Anyway. Watch out now. Swag.com. All right, guys. We're finally going to get to it. Holy shit. Uh -oh. So this has been sitting in here for a while, a few weeks. It is a list from uh, Miami Herald, the top ten. Okay, wow. the top ten Florida man stories from from Florida itself. I love. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Good lord! Poor yep. man. Person of interest. So. This is amazing. So, uh, let's see. Here is the Florida man scoring system to, quote, quantify the Florida madness of any news article appearing on the web, end quote. Tape, uh, tapping commonalities, nearly every Florida man story has to have, let's see, we've got firearms or other weapons, locations, objects, reasons for arrest, injuries, drugs and alcohol, and animals. All of which coincidentally spell... Florida. <laughs> yes. With some, you know. Anyway. Was so, that intentional? Yes. It is the Florida man scoring system. So, here we are, folks. God, we close all these. <laughs> yeah, this really anyway, bad God, that, this yeah, is this painful. Is, the Miami use... Herald is definitely paying for their shit. Well, anyway, they, so. They got to gotta try, yeah. The Florida man top ten. So, we have uh, Joshua James, the man who threw a gator through a Wendy's drive through Hey, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> all. This one had all of the elements. An Everglades creature, in this case, the illegal possession of an alligator. Mm -hmm. his, his mugshot appearance, a pickup truck, a fast food restaurant, and an unusual crime. Just look at that guy. That, that guy, is, he's, he's all hair, all chin. Yep. 
And just just so everybody knows, it's not the Joshua James who's CEO of Domo, no, the, you know, two billion dollar company here in Utah. All that, all that, that would just—I don't think anybody knows who's the shit that is. Yeah, no, so, I actually do know who. Yeah, he is. there you go, Josh James. Don't, not person, but I just know the name. Yeah, anyways, that's funny. So the Deerfield Beach Reptile Store owner Benjamin and Herman Siegel, age forty, who threw a bearded dragon lizard in the air, swung it around, and slapped his employees with the poor critter. According to a Broward Sheriff's Office arrest report, it was like, quote, something out of Game of Thrones, end quote, a former Miami Herald columnist wrote of the January 2015 crime. That guy looks incredibly inebriated. Yeah, he is. Look at him. He is not high on life. He's no. high on something. Special K. Like, who yeah. knows? PCP. I don't PCP. think he should be selling <clears throat> pets in general. Angel dust. Nope. Yeah, that's just Florida. Yep. It is unclear if the lizard was killed. <laughs> and that's, he fuck. faces battery and cruelty to animal charges. It is a strip mall strip mall reptile store. And, and all it says German... on the sign is just giant in red reptiles. How much yep. you want to bet <laughs> the white windowless van in the front of that place was his? Yeah, for Guaranteed. sure. Guaranteed. Oh, my God. Writing off that mileage. <laughs> wow. Creepy. Uh, let's see. The Florida man who said he didn't remember... Going to a Honda of Ocala and taking two large green TVs, putting them in an SUV on the showroom floor, driving through the dealership's double glass doors, crashing into another vehicle, or abandoning the SUV at the entrance of a subdivision. That's what Marion County deputies <laughs> said v- Vantis L. Beshears, 46, did in November of 2015. Wow, Vantis. This, this person's photo. name is Vantis. <laughs> oh, yeah, it fits it. Man. Everything you're imagining is what he looks like. Yep. Uh, straight wow. out of central casting. That's Man. amazing. I'm just imagining like people like working at the dealership being like, Really? Is what? he? Is he really? Is gr- that I? What? Guy's I'm assuming what? it was after hours, but yeah. Oh, I was hoping like, during <laughs> hours. He just I'm hoping, it. yeah, just oh, that'd be God. even more amazing. If it was just the, like midday, just the normal 2 p.m. in Florida. Hey, just so another- I'm going to test drive that new Odyssey. Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> I got to <laughs> test the cargo capacity real quick. I need to test the glass crashing through ability <laughs> of this. I don't live here. This isn't my car. Wait a minute. Out of here. Wow. Okay. Number four. What the shit? Whoever tied a 12-foot alligator to a tree with a parachute cord behind an apartment complex (laughs) on the Hillsborough River and feeding it cats in October of 2013. Nice. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission didn't find their Florida man at that time for the gruesome animal cruelty. He's still at large. (laughs) I'm not even going to click that link. Feeding other alligators. No. No. Crocodiles. Alligators. No. No. Okay. The Florida man who bit off his girlfriend's thumb during a late night run to Taco Bell. Miami New Times reported that Ricardo Davis and his unnamed girlfriend got into an argument on the way to the fast food restaurant in Palm Bay when the incident occurred in January 2013. Oh, unnamed wow. Or oh. unthumbed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so here's the thing. This, this gentleman, his name is John H. Hennessy. Nice. Oh. He looks like Post Malone with no facial tattoos. He does. And a lot more facial hair. Yeah. Yep. John, oh, my God. So, uh, John Hennessy is not the dude who bit off his girlfriend's thumb. No. No. He's a man. Oh, holy uh, shit. Yeah. That, na- okay, that divider is really weird. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, John Hennessy is a naked Florida man who danced in a fire while holding a knife, chanting in an unknown language. According to Cape Coral Police... The man, John Hennessy, 27, dropped the knife and then swung a wooden stick at officers after burning himself in the fire on the front yard of a home on the afternoon of June 2018. (laughs) On the afternoon. Listen, it was a long, long trip, man. (laughs) Police surmised that he might have been, quote, on psychedelic mushrooms, close quote. Kate, that photo fits the story a lot better now. He kind of yes. looks like Manson yeah, to does. Charles Manson yeah. as well, minus the swastika. This is... <laughs> uh, wow. one yeah. thirty a.m., getting rowdy. Just... Oh, well, that's not afternoon. Nope. No, that's a dead of night there. Yeah. It's early-ass morning. Well, I don't know. It's Florida. Things 
I wonder. Is. I wonder what HOAs like homeowners association homeowners associations are like in Florida. It's like I bet they don't exist. We pay oh. you pay one hundred and ten dollars to not have or maybe to have a drugged out crazy maniac dancing in fire on your front yard. <laughs> Holy shit! I just we went back. I, I went back to the Taco Bell one. Yeah. Just the opening paragraph here. Oh my of god! Miami New Times. Choose your own terrible crime adventure. Ricardo Davis was driving his girlfriend to work at Taco Bell this week, just up the coast in Palm Bay, when the couple started to argue. The girlfriend pushed Davis's head, so he responded by A, calmly telling her to cool off, B, singing the lyrics to Bands Make Her Dance loudly enough to drown her out, or C, viciously biting off her thumb and spinning it on the floor. Wow. Well, this is Florida, so you already know that option C is the winner. Holy shit. Dear sweet Christ. Wow. The, during the course of the drive to work, they got into a verbal argument, and she basically became upset. She kind of pushed his head, and he responded by biting. Yvonne Martinez, a department spokeswoman, tells Florida today he bit her thumb completely off and spit it out on the floorboard. That's a lot of... Biting. Did they get the thumb back on? I'm, I'm reading ahead here a little yeah, bit. So uh, <gasps> the girlfriend rushed to the hospital where a nurse called police as doctors tried to reattach the thumb. The woman continued to say, I can't believe he bit my finger off. Martinez <laughs> no fell shit. Today. Ultimately, doctors weren't able to save the thumb and police tracked Davis down to his home. The thumb biter, who is 35 years old, shocked you shouldn't be, now faces charge of aggravated battery. Wow. My God. Florida. Wow. wow. Holy shit. All right. Got the- Oh, oh! You geez. thought that guy looked like Manson? This oh guy looks like he Manson. He looks like Manson mixed with a little bit of a. Uh... Yeah, no, I, I have nothing All right. for that. Yeah, that's a uh, Danzig, a little Manson and Danzig right well, here. <laughs> well, l- l- read the bold, and now you understand. Oh, Death, there you go. Death metal musicians' home, festooned with flamethrowers, weapons, and ammo, erupted in a heavy metal fire. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not why Cannibal Corpse guitarist Patrick O'Brien was arrested in December of 2018. Police say the 53-year-old musician forced his way into a neighbor's house while his burned, pushed one of the occupants to the ground, and then lunged at deputies with a knife. O'Brien's bandmates told Rolling Stone a week later that he was getting the help he needed. The band is touring with a replacement guitarist. There's more. He's getting the it's help funny. It's like, why did my house burn down? Oh wait, it was festooned. Festooned is with such a flame, good word. Flamethrowers. Oh my god! What an idiot. Fantastic. Huh. But he looks very death metally to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, That's... he does. He, he's got a Danzig look to him there a little bit, you know. Yeah, but yeah, I mean Danzig. He looks like a, a, someone I will unname, but he owns a computer store and has his own heavy metal band. And the resemblance is striking. Hmm. The dangerous complication here was ammunition stored within the home, which was exploding due to the flames. The Hillsborough County Fire De- Fire Rescue Department posted on Facebook Monday. It took us nearly an hour to bring this one under control. Thankfully, there were no injuries. The cause of the fire had not been determined. Hmm. That's amazing. Oh, there's a picture wow. of his house, too. Yo! That's a good 20-foot flame there. That's huge. Noise. Huh. Uh, O'Brien wasn't at his house when firefighters worked to put out the blaze, which had been said flames billing into the night sky from the roof, and that's where his troubles grew. O'Brien was arrested and charged with aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer with a deadly weapon and burglary of an occupied dwelling. It is not clear if any of the charges will stem from the fire. Mm. That's great. Wow. Okay. This is amazing. This is, that is a very Florida-ass story. Was number seven. Number seven. Number eight. Florida man is released from jail on auto theft charges. He immediately breaks into another car in the jail's parking lot and is caught because a deputy was sitting behind the wheel. (laughs) Wow. Jesus Christ. That is that unnamed person. Oh, okay. Just when you... Khalid Carpuzzi, 41, of Newport Ritchie, was marched back into the correctional facility and booked on a second attempt at auto theft charge in November of 2018. Wow. First thing I do when I'm going to get out is steal me another car. <laughs> those are what you call career criminals, yeah, and that's... those are the people you euthanize. Yeah. Okay. This is... <laughs> Man, this is just the ugliest people I have ever seen in my life. Floridian, is... 19, arrested for lewd act with stuffed animal inside a Walmart store. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and read the uh, the cliff notes here. <laughs> yes, there is a lot of there's a lot there's a lot of, a lot of small grossness. a lot of small text. I don't really want to get into it. I just needed to see that man's that that poor poor man's face. Uh, Florida teen gets turned on in a Tampa Bay Walmart. Mm. Hey, we don't find anything remotely sexy about Walmart, but it takes all, all it takes all kinds. But this one enters the Florida man top ten because of the details. Brooksville police said Sean Johnson, nineteen came to the store's loss prevention staffer's attention in October 2014 because he plucked a stuffed horse off of a toy shelf and took it to the bedding department where they say he masturbated using the toy. After he finished, he put the stuffed animal, covered in his DNA, oh. on the bed and then back on the shelf. Wow. What the fuck, dude? Just going to go rub one out with the horse in Walmart's <laughs> bedding section. Fuck. Oh, wow. A.K.A. Tuesday in Florida. Right? Yeah. Wow. Tampa Bay, hello. I like how it was so Tom at the beginning. It came to the Los Angeles attention. Like, oh. Well, don't stop him till he's finished. <laughs> no. God, you don't want to interrupt that. <laughs> yeah, no. I, you don't know if somebody's going to start swinging. No. He probably <laughs> wanted him to tase him, too, to get that ultimate. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I wow. got a video I need to show you after this. <laughs> God. All right. Number Anyways. 10. Florida man fires muskets at cars on the seven-mile bridge in the Florida Keys. Nice. He was dressed in a pirate's costume at the time in July 2015, Monroe County deputy said. They also said Jamie Spearing wasn't using real ammo. Rather, it was black powder rounds. He played a costume pirate as part of his profession at the time. Mm. That's taking something a little too seriously. Well, What's funny okay. is, is his profession was male stripper. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> Just, oh, no. Is definitely not. Honorable no. mentions? The group didn't think of this one, but we've got to suggest an honorable mention. 24-year-old Dominic Breedlove shoplifted from a, Coles in, from a Coles Spring Hill store in Central Florida's Brooksville in December. Hernando County Sheriff. Uh, department deputy said, big deal. He had just left a job interview at the same store moments <laughs> before. So am I going to get the job or do I need to steal these socks? Wow. <laughs> That's Don't awesome. Call. Look at this dude. Wow. He has got the bull cut straight from uh, Lloyd Christen- Christmas himself. And the ice. Look at the chain. Oh, straight up. Look at the chain. He straight the, stole that and from another cubic zirconia. And the, the DC shirt. Yep. Mm. And, and the neck. Oh, Florida oh. woman gets her turn. Uh-oh. Florida woman has every right to, sl- to feel slighted as Florida man dominates the injury claim group's top ten list. So we'd like to nominate Shanita Yvette Wilson, the Dania Beach woman who was arrested and charged with assault at a Dollar General store in November 2018. Dollar General. Nice. Of course. Already, I love where this is going. Yes. Assault and, like, assault at the Dollar General? Oh. Oh. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> According to a Broward Sheriff's Office complaint affidavit, Wilson, 37, was in the checkout line at the Dollar General store when the customer standing next to her got into a verbal dispute with her, quote, in reference to the defendant farting loudly, close (laughs) quote. (laughs) According to the report, deputies say Wilson allegedly pulled a small lockback knife from her purse, opened the knife, and told the victim she was going to gut him. Wow. (laughs) So she dropped trow big time and then threatened to cut, or the customer did, and she threatened to cut him? She, no, she was just sitting there just cutting him loose, man. Nice. And then she pulled, the dude's just like, you got to, could you like not? Could you not do that in public? Could you hold it? But it's the Dollar General. That's what you and then she And then that's when she busts out the <laughs> knife. She's like, nah. Good God, man. Oh, you thought? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me. You thought. Excuse me. Do she, you know where the soap <laughs> I'm going to gut you. And then she pulls out a knife. Wow. Yep. In Florida. Just over here popping them off like a Clydesdale. <laughs> so, Man. hey, if you're listening from Florida, the Utah uh, housing market, or I should say the housing market in Utah sucks, so don't move here. <laughs> yeah, please don't. We don't need <laughs> just this. Just stay there. Oh, all right, gang. We asked you because we didn't have a guest. We wanted you to mm. ask us questions. Mm. Fire off hot and spicy takes. Whatever. You know, we gave you that opportunity to do so. And some of you did. Ah. First, I want to get on to uh, Instagram while I'm thinking about it. Can I answer this first one? Because everyone answer this first okay. one. Okay. Well, we all do, right? In a- yeah. in a round. AJ Glassmacher asks, what would you drive on a coast-to-coast road trip? I know. Oh, Go okay. for it, yeah, Sorry, I, I thought you... Ferrari 550. I think uh, it would be fantastic. 550 Marinello. 550 Marinello with the manual uh, to hear the click-click of the shifts and that beautiful V12 and that comfy Italian leather. Sign me up. 550 Marinello. Dave, you might have to go first because I, I, 
I have several options. I can't pick one. C6 ZR1. Ooh. Ooh. At the time, the most powerful Corvette ever made. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. God damn it. Right. Um, so this is actually like definitely one of my fantasies of driving Coast to Coast. I would love to run the cannonball and run it in a way that I could participate and possibly compete. Like, I don't know. Right. I, I'm not I'm not from skilled enough to actually have well, a time. You can do that in both the cars that Dave and I suggested. Yeah. Well, and win. well there, there's a lot of... Um, you want to pick a car that isn't per se... Um, Noteworthy. You don't want to be easily noticed while doing that. Okay. So your answer is 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. Got it. Right. You're not far off. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, sorry. 1987 Forerunner. Uh, Third gen. N- 1990 gen. Lingenfelter Suburban. Okay, fair. All That's right. cool. With the almost 10 liter Mer Cruiser V8. Well, yep. Um, you're going to have to stop for gas quite a few uh, No, you, times. you do fuel yeah. fuel cells. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so you're going to add weight then is what you're Yeah. Saying. Okay, cool. But, but you, you have I don't f- think you could make it across the state of Rhode Island with the entire ass end of a Suburban filled to the gills with 91 octane. No. So I think with that the... the I'm going to get um, half a mile a gallon. <laughs> so um, what's his name? Uh, Ed Bullion, his moving average was 126 across the U.S.? Is he the current uh, yeah, um, record holder? I don't holder? know if he's current anymore. I thought it was Danger Face Dude poli- Polizei guy with the M5. Oh. He he had he had one of the more recent ones for sure. Oh, okay, um, but his moving speed was 126. We should figure out figure out how much the Lincoln Hunter Corvette will do miles per gallon, and then divide it by two for 126, <laughs> and then um, per tank. Wait, what? No, so oh, the miles per hour. Yeah, because gotcha. if, if it does. Ten at sixty, it's probably going to do half that at one twenty. Correct. Yeah, and then then we'd figure out how much gas yeah. we'd have to use to make three stops. You would just do some maths. Yeah, I'll do some yeah, math. Do right the now. maths. Alrighty. All right then. Good question. Okay. Yeah, amazing question. All right, so I'm going to blow through these uh, Instagram ones real quick because I have it up and I would do like it. to just get these done. Okay, so uh, Ricky Snowcrow, runner of the uh, San Pete Greasy Grub Meats. Uh, any chance of doing Forza Motorsport challenges like you do GT Sport? You know, we've been talking about it for a while. Yeah. I don't have it's, the time allotted that I originally thought I would yeah, to Dave, make this happen. Yeah, Dave threw his hat in the ring to do that because all I have is a PS4. That's why we're doing the GT Sport. The GT Sport thing came about because... That's all we had. I, I yeah, have a it's, PS4. It's all we had. And here, we just kind of jokingly said, well, we'll have our guests come on. And then afterward, we'll make him do a lap in some sort of reasonably priced car. So right. we have and a Suzuki Swift Sport. Yeah. I mean, this worked for like I think three podcasts. Yeah, and then yeah, and then, yeah, and then, and we then stopped. Yeah, and then we just kind of kept like because we kept going longer and longer. Yeah, right. So it was one of those like we need to like we need to cut something. So and that was the thing. Yeah, and I mean, it, if I got my hands on an Xbox, I could probably throw it down. But right now we. We just don't have somebody to run it. Like uh, Trent Tanner and Alex Crane are running the GT Sport thing. Like okay. I'm very hands off in that, unless you know something arises and I need to get involved. But you know, so but it's not not to say it won't happen in the future. Yeah, There's exactly. a possibility for it. It's just it's not. Yeah, exactly. In the foreseeable future, but it could happen. Yeah, so... I need to get an Xbox One, that's for sure. I would love to get an Xbox yeah. One, just because. Uh, anyway, uh, the aforementioned uh, Alex Crane, Jeff, uh, what is direction Cam is hoping to go in the near future? Uh, uh, preferably with proper English to start. Up. <laughs> Where he's an engineer, not a writer. Uh, my favorite <laughs> one is the, the the mug that says, I am a... I'm a I'm an engineer, spelled wrong, crossed out, spelled engineer again, crossed out. I work on planes, circled. There nice. we go. There you go. Uh, let's see. Have a one-year or five-year plan, and how many people listen to the podcast? A million plus two. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, I mean, we're hoping to kind of do more stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the podcast is fun on my little thing that I showed doodles to the guys on, like, there is a note above that, that, you know, a video idea that I would like to do, kind of, you know, revisiting an old idea that we had, something we've actually done in the past, mm-hmm. just in a different way. Mm-hmm. So, Got it. I definitely anyway. want to do more videos for Cam, for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to do video, like, we need more video content. It's yeah. just, you know, for the most part, 
I am the main content producer, and I am but one man, mm. and I have other things in my life outside of Cam. Mm. Yeah. So it's just one of those, you know, kind of, you know, expand the content, and really for me, it's just I wanted like just keep doing dumb fun stuff. Yeah. Like I'm not, we're not trying to be the next speed hunters. We're not trying to be, you know, something. We're just, we're a bunch of idiots just trying to have fun. Yep. So there that we go. Very elegantly. Yep. <laughs> I told him I was going to try to channel my, channel my uh, inner Reagan. Nice. And, uh, yeah. You know, say a bunch of stuff that makes no sense, but right. just give it the weight so it makes it sound, you know. Yeah. Answering the question he didn't ask. Exactly. Exactly. You know. It's all politicians. Well, you leave a yeah. bicycle pump out in the rain. Yep. You know what they Next say. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Admiral Funbags. That is an awesome name. It is. That would be Kit. It is Kit. Hey, Kit. So will Cam ever add more members? Fun fact, there's actually a shocking amount of Cam people. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, everybody is spread out and doing yeah. other things. That's true. So it really only looks like us or me. <laughs> but no, there's... It, you know, it really is just you, yeah, let's be like, honest. Like Joey, well, yeah, you, you are the, the I core. Mean, I... You're the glue that holds us together. <laughs> I'm the glue. He's the cornerstone. Oh, I see. There we go. What am I? The acetone tearing mm -hmm. us all apart? The zebra print duct tape? And I'm that pigeon that periodically <laughs> flies over, shits all over the place, <laughs> and then leaves. <laughs> we can't clean it. It's structural now. <laughs> uh -oh, we're committed. Well, it's, it's, uh, He's it's, back. It's, yeah. It's, uh, never mind. Anyways, let's see. And then he asks, uh, "Are we going to get more live streams and maybe video?" I yes, mean, yes. Eventually, yeah. Live streams. We've just streams. answered that. We've got the stuff to do live streaming audio. We just like we need to do a day that isn't a po you know a podcast recording, and right. then just go into the shenanigans group and just you know yeah. What are you doing this Test. Sunday? Fuck around uh, this Sunday. Maybe we do it during the I'm, next F one race in my house mm, or here. Or, well, the next F1 race, I'm going to be at the track. Ah, uh, maybe Remember? we do it at the track while we watch the F1 race. Because I can swing by and we can dick around with that and see what we can we'll, do. We'll yeah. talk about this later. Yeah, it's it's a thing. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. And then, uh, will you get Zach smashed again? Because I would love to hear that. <laughs> no one wants to hear that except you, Kit. No. But I love you that you want me to hear, hear me smashed. Well, so here's the thing. So... The, the plan is still going to SEMA. Like, we have already... A place booked to stay. It's just I have to get, you know, uh, there, I have to. There, there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen, kind of behind the scenes that I don't want to put out there. Right. You know, people just think we show up in Las Vegas, take pictures, and have a good time, and there's, then go back home. There's a lot and of moving parts yeah. to yeah. this. That's an extremely oversimplified generalization. Yeah. yeah no. Of there's a what lot of, goes on. There's a lot of stuff that has to happen before we can even, you know, but. Uh, the plan is, so, it would be all of us at this table. We've got some other people invited. Uh, one of the people who is definitely going to be there is our Northwest correspondent, Chirp. He's yep. like the big brother I never had. Yeah. And Aww. he treats me like a little brother. He's the best. It, yeah, exactly. I'm to meet you, Chirp. Oh, you I will. Wait, I can't wait to. I read the... Just prepare yourself is We're, the only word. Prepare your anus is actually what <laughs> we the, should be oh, telling wow. you. For the <laughs> reaming that will occur. Say goodbye to your liver because yeah. we're going to fucking kill you. I, I feel like I'm going to meet him and his first person will just be like, fuck you and that's why. Exactly. That's probably. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Anyway, and then uh, Dave. Incredibly that. accurate. Yep. And then uh, Dave Kazarian. Uh, let's see. Laser or spread, then turbo supercharged or cubic inches. Wait, what? Laser what? or spread? That's what it says. Laser or spread? Spread what? I don't know, but I'm going to go with laser. Laser. Lasers. Yeah, laser. Uh, uh, I want spread. Okay. Gross. Whatever. You, and would. Then, you would. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to go turbo just because it makes fun noises. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so it was turbo NA or super? Yep. <laughs> ah, okay. What? So we've got to put in context the application. Ah. But if the application is not in context, then I'm just going to default to turbocharged. Yes. All right. Correct. Laser <laughs> or spread? I don't know. I'm is sure. like a butter knife? Pinpoint direction or wide application? Oh, gotcha. Now oh. I get it. Yeah, laser for sure. Yep. I still go spread. Yeah, I was All like right. thinking of a laser and... <laughs> <laughs> really, really, the way it should have been said is spot or flood. Mm. Mm. Still would have lost me. Yeah. That's Anyways, okay. anyway, that's all right. right. So moving on to the Facebook. We hey, got, face, so, face. So we're to answer AJ's question. The the road trip car. Yep. Uh, except for me, I didn't get a chance. Yeah. What is it? Glossed over me. Um. <laughs> don't 
don't don't be sour about it. Uh, I'm probably going to do uh, whatever Ast- the newest Aston Martin GT Ooh. that I can get my hands on. Nice. So like yeah. a Vanquish. So any exactly. Aston yeah. Martin? The newest, I yeah. said specifically. Vantage, Vanquish. Yeah. The so not, not the sports car, the GT car. Like, well, are, are or maybe all Aston Martins technically GT cars? Yeah. Shut up. Next question. I mean, we could. We're not gonna. We're not here to parse terms. We're here to answer questions. Damn it! And not your questions. That'll <laughs> come <to>. later. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, Evil Trent, uh, what's in store for Cam in the future? World domination. Awesomeness. Dumb shit. Correct. Anyway, <laughs> Mikey asks, I'm interested to hear your thoughts about the new UMC ownership and management. I know nothing about it so far, so I don't really have any questions about it. If you have any criticisms or praises, I'd be down to hear them. Also, I'm going to add a question mark at the end of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Who put a question mark on the teleprompter? Uh, anyway, I told him to go listen to uh, episode 174, the one with uh, Dave and Matt, because right. they touched on it. And, I mean, it sounds good on paper, but the one thing that they keep saying is, well, you know, we just got it, you know, we just we need to figure out how it runs, but you've been running it for a few years. Why? Do well, you I think there's, there is a new, there's a new financial... Like the aspect of it where I mean now that you own the place and you actually see what it costs to physically hold the note right and yeah. what you need to do as far as uh, land upgrades as far as expansion yeah. as far as putting into motion all of these original plans that have been talked about now it's not like Geely and my time don't have money I mean Geely owns Volvo for fuck's sake yeah, yeah like right? they are one of the largest auto manufacturers in the world world it, exactly in the world in the world yeah anywho in the world <laughs> owned by I, Geely god damn that was that was really well yeah, yeah. Well, anyway nice yeah I mean my like, but see, those are those are all things in the original plan, right? When the, when Captain Nevada douchebag ruined yeah, that keep, thing, yeah, yes. But now they make the car. Like there was talk of building race cars here, actually making a manufacturing plan. They, but they do they that do in them, China now. Well, they, they yeah, they those. they do that elsewhere now. Yeah, yeah and they like, also didn't really have access to tracks. But now they've built two yeah, in they, China as well. So right, and so like, in all of this time, now really the whole purpose of picking it up kind of was out the window. Yeah. So now they just have it for the sake of having it. So yeah, now I they're think. probably just reevaluating, seeing how they can make it profitable for them. I yeah. still hope they maintain the ideas of yeah, making it FIA certified so we could get some of those cool series here. Yeah, I mean, it, agreed. It, yeah. It would just be nice to see some upgrades happen and, yeah. you know. So hopefully I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say the same. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, Luke asks, what local stuff should I keep uh, should I keep my calendar free for this car season? Every drift NASA event. event. Every drift event. NASA. I'm going to every NASA event. Yeah, so... Okay, you get your NASA weekends. Um, there's SEC Autocross. It's going to be going on a lot. Yep. Excited for those. There's Great. going to be Friday night and Saturday day drift events. Oh, nice. Yep. Midnight draw. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, there's actually <laughs> going to front be straight. roll racing on the front straight. At Friday Miller? nights. At UMC, yeah. At UMC. UMC. Rad. Yeah. So. Roll racing. JR, yep. did you hear that? That's all JR does is roll racing. There you go, JR. Well, when you can't hook, you got to do it from a roll. Yeah, buddy. Yep. There you go. You I don't mean, break as much when you roll. It's true. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we've got uh, ISS on June 1st. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. still planning on doing a live podcast there. We've got the uh, Garage Kyusha uh, Matsuri. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's coming right up. I'm sure there's yeah, going to be a, there's probably going to be a UJCC Tinners meet. Yep. Nice. Those are those good ones. Yeah. I mean, the Summer Nights, I didn't go to the last uh, Summer Nights meet, but they no. seem to be... The, the Summer Nights year. X Rally Sport Direct. Yeah. It was the first one. But um, they hold those all across the valley, and those are always a good time. That was yeah. a big They're one. always a good time until somebody starts revving their shit. Which yeah. always happens. Yeah. Yeah. Or someone crashes trying to leave. Or burns That's out. That's always funny. Either or. Yeah. So, because Mustang. Just kidding, Alex. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm there we think, go. What else? I there's mean, lots of things. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of stuff. I mean, I mean, depending on your particular niche. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a, there is a full season. Yep. Yeah, that there's, I've seen. I mean, weekly I, meets. There's fir- drives. firsthand. I know that there's lots of drifting on the schedule. Yeah. The most drift events we have ever had. Wow. In busy. the state of Utah, um, it, that's that kind of goes both ways. I mean, a lot of our event, most of our events are Friday evenings. So we're going to be hot on the the paddock at like 5:30. Nice. And we go until they say no more, which is about sundown. So 8, maybe 8:30. Yeah. So, you know, three and a half, four hours of drive time maybe. It's going to be great. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a half day. 
yeah. type of deal. Yeah. So it's going to be good times. Love it. And so. then, final, well, finally for me, I'm not sure because I think Dave shared this and he might have gotten a response. I got one and I do want to touch on it. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, Jackson Henderson, why does Dave hate every cool car like Fieros and Z32s? <laughs> I mean, you've heard the Fiero story, so you know why. I yeah. mean, that's self-evident. I'm going to keep quiet here not to incriminate myself. Jackson. Probably lies. <clears throat> I don't hate the cool cars. I hate the owners mm. of the cool cars. Preach. <laughs> Zach's over here. I don't hate Fieros, Damn. and I don't hate Z32s. Damn, son. I despise the cultish tool bags that own the both of them. <laughs> Truth bomb. You heard it here first. Wow. Damn. Well, there we go. Got straight from the horse's mouth, Jackson. Good thing I own a Z33 <laughs> or else I'd be straight Jackson. from the horse's ass. So, be a little hey, worried. Jackson, I'm going to do this on the podcast so everyone hears this. When is your car going to be finished? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeet. <laughs> Wow. His car is currently broken right now. And well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It. I will give him mad props for bucking up and paying for a car he totaled for two years after the car was gone. And he's yeah. now yeah. in a better financial situation. That was pretty To badass. where now he can work on the car. So I can't hate him for having the car parked, for not doing anything mm-hmm. to it, because I understand, first and foremost, you know, financial responsibility and having to take care of things that you otherwise probably don't want to. I get that. It's called life. It, it is mm-hmm. definitely called life. And, and it un- gets you. It's unfortunate that some people have to learn it like that. Yeah. Result. I am one of those people that learns the hard way as well. Yeah. So actually, Jackson, I really give you some props. I got to say congratulations for getting that paid up. I can't wait to see what you do with the Z. I want to see some good things come from that car. Sounds yeah, like you wanna... just need to. Just. Do it! Yes. Damn. I just want to say, too, is a lot of people in that situation where, like, if more or less he, his car blew up on him, hmm. um, not per se the fault of the owner always, but most people in that situation would have just called it quits, just sold the car as is, just junked it. But he has been putting the time and effort. And I've talked about this a lot, too, because he's, like, legitimately my best friend. I've known him for, fuck, five years now at this point, hmm. six years maybe. Mm-hmm. This car is in a uh, storage unit right now being torn apart by him and him and him, him himself and his him him himself and i did that <laughs> yeah there we go yeah. there it is wow that was some cancer stroke level shit right there wow that's that was... all right but i get I props with that i just wanted to see Good it done because <laughs> i actually try to drive that car on 14 psi and god damn that car might be faster than mike's um uh e, e60 there you go yeah the 535 yeah yeah it's still not as fast as the golf no as fast as the golf i don't think it ever will be but on 14 okay. psi <laughs> it was that's fun okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that dual boost controller bullshit. We need to get you straight <laughs> right out the gate. That that ain't going to fly. Anyway. Anywho, I have one question That's... from the amazing Dallas Smith. Mm. What's up, D? Uh, he says, why should new drivers... No, he's, he's referencing drifting, okay. by the way. Right. Why should new drivers not focus on adding power or going full-blown on a Pro-Am build? Mm-hmm. Well, I think the Pro-Am build thing is fairly straightforward. You're going to end up, like, spending more time building than you are ever getting seat time, and then you will have something that you can't use. Well, that's the thing is, in a Pro-Am build, you need to be up to snuff as a driver before you can build a vehicle to a rule book and be competitive. If you are building a car to become competitive... You need to have competitive driving skills to start. I think this goes back to what we said before, too, where it's like getting in a car driving, it's going to be way more satisfying than just like never being able to drive because. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you're a competitive person and you're going to, you want to compete, I mean, really, there's no stopping you. If you want it, you're going to do it. That's, that's how competition works. And that's how being a competitive person works. Um, I have always simplified this and said, you need to drive the car instead of have the car drive you. Mm. When you build a car and don't know the first thing about driving it, the car drives you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't chuck a car sideways and react to it. You should already know what the car is going to do depending on the inputs that you give it. 
And from there, you give it the inputs you want to get the desired outcome. Yep. You never drive the car based on the information it gives you. You drive the car based on the information that you gave it. Yep. It's actually really good advice for any type of racing and yeah. or driving. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah. If you're going to go absolutely. bomb a canyon, don't freaking do it in a ZL1. Don't, no. don't, don't. When don't you drive a, a freaking Mark IV GTI. No. Exactly. You know? like, exactly. Now, here's the thing. And specifically with drifting, a lot of people think it's really cool to watch and it's really cool to do. But when they do it or once they actually spend all the money to do it, they get too stressed out about it or they come to the harsh realization already too late in the game that, wow, this is really expensive, or, wow, I don't like this as much as I thought I would. Right. Or, or I'm not or, as good as I thought I'd or, be. Or, yeah, exactly. And I thought There's, more power would do it. Right, exactly. There there are a lot of, uh, I, I don't want to say there's a lot of buyer's remorse in drifting, yeah. but there's a lot of buyer's remorse in drifting. It's yeah. one of those things where, you know, not ev- not everybody's going to be good at it. And not everybody's going to be good at car control, and not everybody's going to be good at building a car or putting a car together or maintaining the car. Not everybody is going to be good at all of this, right? And it's really, it's it's a lot like skateboarding, right? It, I would equate drifting it's, to skateboarding. It literally like, is skateboarding oh. in a motorsports venue. Yeah, like, yeah, like I I suck at skateboarding. I absolutely love. The skate scene, like, I grew up enjoying the shit out of it. I had a bunch of friends that skated. I used to go hang out at the parks with my buddies that skated. I can't stand up on a board without eating shit. <laughs> like, you know. I laugh because I'm the uh, same way. That's, it, it, that's exactly. I, I, yeah. I cannot do that, but I like the scene and the niche that it is. Yeah. And I like the people that are in it. Yeah. I mean, don't equate that to, you know, me being a shitty driver, but, you know, really liking drifting. On the contrary, I like to think I'm a pretty damn good driver. But that's the thing is I'm there for more than just the driving. Yeah. So, but, but you know, it's it, it's kind of that thing. Like, you don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. Yeah. And, you but, know. But the more you but, do it, the more you'll enjoy it and ex- the better you'll exa- get. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So what so. you need to do is you need to go in, like with anything, you need to go into it with an open mind. Yeah, and then yeah. build your knowledge. And you need to you need to find your strengths Learn. and build upon your weaknesses, yeah. Yeah. you know, and, and that kind of stuff. And it would be like, Dave, you put your 10,000 hours in and guess what? You're a freaking master. You can do it in your sleep. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's all it is. You just got to know... It's, uh, you know, you break it down in little blocks. Yeah. I've said this for like an engine swap or a car build, right? Like, yeah. it's not this huge complex thing if you break it down into these little bits. Like, yep. You could build this giant masterpiece with these tiny little blocks. Yep. And you figure out these little blocks and where they go, and it's really easy once you get the big picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Love so it. there you go. There we go. Great Boom. advice. Yep. Truth. Uh, All righty. Well, guys, that's it for episode 176. Thank you for all of your questions, your comments, your weirdness. We love it. We want more of it. Always. Indeed. Yes. Mailbag at camautomag.com. Blast us. At camautomag on all of the social medias is where you can get your weirdness slash questions slash take slash whatever you want to get to us. That's Mm -hmm. how you get a hold of us. Mm -hmm. We're out there. My phone will buzz with whatever it is. My phone will buzz with whatever it is, too. Yep, there we go. Oh, by the way, Austin Kent sent this thing in real quick uh, for when we start doing uh, live uh-huh. live stream stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, sugge- uh, create a Patreon level for fan interaction to be able to mute the village idiot. Oh. Uh, wait, is that me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty much, I think, just the Everyone's... fan ability to mute would be pretty awesome. Yeah. So Everyone's staring at, but we me? should only as long as we can see who's muting <laughs> exactly who's doing the muting. I just want to like, just have the vote. Yeah, but uh, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like a Formula E fan boost thing. Oh, it's I a hate Formula that e, shit. Formula E, you shut the fuck up, boost. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the opposite, or just having thing. Gavin around. Pretty much. Aren't you oh, the oh, only oh. person at this table that likes Formula E? I do. Uh, I wanted to bring like a two-minute Formula E update for every episode. Why? Because it'd be fucking hilarious. Because everyone would no one it. gives a shit. I won't. No, I won't stand for that. I want to know if the blend tech beat out the Osterizer. Oh, Ooh. but where was the Roomba at the end? <laughs> oh shit, That's the thing. And I think it no, had the a Roomba's, cat. The Roomba's the pace car. I think it had a cat <laughs> on top of it too. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to get on board of with Austin's idea, please I don't. don't know. Yeah. Or whatever. 
I mean, listen, just support us by heading to patreon.com slash camautomag. As little as a dollar, up to 15 grand, really any amount helps. Give us at least five bucks. Yeah, five bucks is really what you want. And then, because that gets you access to the Shenanigans Facebook group, bonus content, early episodes, all sorts of fun stuff. Yep. Yep. Uh, Let's see. Find this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you find your podcast. If we're not there, let me know, and I'll try to get us there. Yeah, because we are where. Damn right. Rate, review, subscribe, share us with your friends. Uh, let's see. As we mentioned several times, the first NASA weekend is at the end of this month, Woo! 30th, the 29th to the 31st. I'll be there Saturday. Yep, I will be there Saturday. I'll probably be there for a bit of Sunday, because there are some things also happening on Sunday that I think I might want to stick my head into, mm. you know? But, uh, yeah, so there we go. Find us out at uh, NASA Utah at UMC with uh, the guys from the NASA, NASA Rocky Mountain region. Yep. Going to be running the Outer Loop. Oh, very nice. Yes. Get some speed. It's going to be a good time. Power. Going to be a great time. Buffeting. <laughs> yes, that too. Uh, yeah, there we go. So for episode 176 of the CamCast, I've been Mike. I've been Rob Roddy. Ahoy, hoy. Pizza Dad. Wow. That was horrible. Oh, that was Just bad. remember, oh, the, anyway, that's the intro. <laughs> I don't know, I want to use an outro. Los Angeles oh, okay. County is reminding you to what? spay and neuter all of your pets. That Bob was Barker. Bob Barker's thing. Wasn't Rob Roddy's? Yeah, Rod Roddy. Shut up.